in most games we have a character controller. This is basically moving a player around the screen. So today you will learn how to make the perfect character controller for your game in Unity. Let's start. This is my empty Unity project. So the first thing I am going to make is to right click to the object sprite and then I'm going to create a square. I'm going to rename it to something like player and then on the right part I'm going to add a script named a player new script and I'm going to create a new script now you will open this script up with any code editor you like I personally recommend Visual Studio Code I'm going to delete this start and update functions also in my player game object I am just going to change the color to a uh, green for example and in my game uh, window I'm going to select the resolution I want in my case I'm just going to select uh, a vertical resolution I believe the character or the player is a bit big so I'm just going to scale it from here to 0.5 index and 0.5 on the Y and now you can see my player is smaller so now let's get into the code firstly I'm going to need a reference to the rigid body of the player we haven't created but we are going to create so I'm going to create this new variable of type rigid body 2D I'm going to name it RB now I'm going to serialize this variable so that it, it can be set on our inspector by selecting our player, our player, I'm going to add the rigid body component to the, and then where it says gravity scales, I'm going to set it to zero, because of course we don't want any type of gravity. So if you wanna uh, move this rigid body to the, it's usually made on something called the fixed update function. If you put the cursor on the function okay you will see that it says this function is called every fixed frame rate frame if the mono behavior is enabled I'm not going to explain this fix update a lot I can only say to you that for movements based on rigid body this function fix update is usually used also I'm going to need my update function so let's quickly create it and inside this update function I'm going to create a new float move x variable and then I'm going to assign to this variable input dot get axis row and here I'm going to put horizontal this variable will return minus one if we press the left key or one if we press the right key of the keyboard so I'm going to uh, quickly copy and paste this function, this variable, and I'm going to do the same thing but with the vertical. This vertical, this move y uh, variable will, re will return 1 if we press the up key and down and minus 1 if we press the down key. I'm just going to print both variables to see this. Also remember to assign the rigid body of the player. In order to do that, I'm just going to drag and drop the same player to this part of the inspector. So now I am pressing the left key on my keyboard. You can see a minus one there. Now I'm not pressing anything. You can see a zero. Now if I press the right key, you see a one. And now if I press the up key, I you can see again a one. And if I press the down key, you see a minus one. We are going to store both variables in another variable of type vector2. In order to do that, I'm going to create a new vector2 variable and call it move input. And then I'm going to assign this variable. So move input will be equals to new vector2. For the x value, I'm going to put the move x variable. And for the y value, I'm going to put move y. In our fix update method, I'm going to call rigid body, that is the reference of our rigid body, dot move position. And this is a 
function inside of every rigid body and this takes a bit of values. The first parameter is where do we want to move to? In this case will be rv dot transform dot position then we add to this value the move input so that it actually moves then we are also going to need another variable of speed in this case so i'm also going to set it as serialized field so that we can edit, edit, edit it on the inspector this will be an int and i'm going to call it speed then this move input i want to set a specific uh, a speed so that i'm going to multiply it by our speed and i want to multiply this by time dot fixed delta time this time dot fixed delta time is uh, we put this line in order to the character to move in the same way as it would do in any device uh, this is actually rv.position, not transform. Then we have to assign this speed value in our inspector. In this case, for example, I'm going to put 5 and I'm going to press play and see what happens. So now, as you can see, the player is moving, but uh, if we move uh, in a diagonal way, for example, you can see we move faster. This is the horizontal and vertical movement but when move in diagonal you can see that the speed is higher this is because the um, move input variable is not normalized to fix this and to normalize our move input variables very simple we just put dot normalized and now as you can see it doesn't matter if i go in a straight direction it doesn't matter if i go in a diagonal the speed is always the same of course this is a very basic example about how to make a character controller you can add animations to this uh, you can add other sprites for the player of course you can make a lot a lot of things but these are the lines of code you're going to need if you want to make a character controller I hope this video was helpful to you, if so please consider subscribing and also like the video as well, see you on the next one and bye bye.